The title of this paper is An Ultrasonic Bone Cutting Instrument for the Da Vinci Surgical System. The Da Vinci Surgical System is a teleoperated system for minimally invasive surgery and was used in over 700,000 surgeries in 2017 alone. Benefits include motion scaling and tremor reduction, improved visibility, increased dexterity, and improved surgeon ergonomics. A variety of wristed instruments are available for the system, such as bipolar cautery, needle drivers, and forceps. However, bone instruments are not yet available. A literature review reveals the clinical need. Over 20 papers mention the lack of bone instruments as a drawback to the system, including several papers from 2017. Based on the papers reviewed, bone instruments have possible applications in neurosurgery, head and neck, ENT, craniofacial, transoral, and orthopedic surgery. To determine the most suitable cutting method, the three main powered methods were compared, conventional saws, laser cutting, and ultrasonic cutting. Several objectives were identified, including selective cutting ability, the applied forces involved, depth control, and cutting speed and depth. Based on this comparison, ultrasonic cutting was selected as the most suitable for a minimally invasive robotic approach. Existing ultrasonic tools were investigated to determine if they could be easily adapted to the da Vinci robotic system. This animation shows the resulting range of motion if the longest existing ultrasonic tool were to be placed on the da Vinci system. On the left, it can be seen that the tool only extends past the remote center motion by a few millimeters, effectively resulting in no range of motion compared to the standard da Vinci tool on the right. Based on geometry, it was determined that existing tools are not suitable. Additionally, the development of a new da Vinci-specific bone cutting tool allows for additional customization. The system was designed using a finite element analysis approach. A multi-objective genetic algorithm available in ANSYS was used to optimize user-provided design spaces. The ultrasonic transducer was also modeled using electromechanical analysis. After fabrication, the tool was mounted to a da Vinci research kit to test teleoperated cutting. The kinematics remain unchanged as the tool does not yet incorporate roll and is non-wristed. An existing DVRK tool base was customized for mounting the device. This animation shows an exploded view of the design. The customized da Vinci tool base can be seen here, as well as on the image on the left. Customized silicon gaskets were developed for the mounting system. The transducer was selected off the shelf, and the remaining component of the ultrasonic system was machined from high-strength aluminum. The prototype has been successfully teleoperated and used to cut simulated bone. A video of one of the first cutting tests is shown on the right. The initial prototype serves to validate the FE approach and is the first test of a teleoperated ultrasonic system. However, as an initial prototype there are significant drawbacks. These include the aluminum construction which results in significant blade wear and low amplitude, a length that does not yet improve on existing systems, the lack of tool roll built into the mounting system, and a single piece design in which components cannot be replaced. Future work will focus on improving the ultrasonic prototype using an updated design methodology, a craniofacial workspace analysis to determine specific tool requirements, and a mock craniofacial procedure.